anywhere. This is Eddie taking advantage of a free Wi-Fi from the Allahabad train station. He's very happy. So today, this is our eighth day in India, and we are trying to. We came to a train station in Allahabad to buy a train ticket for tomorrow but apparently it's not possible without a reservation so you basically have to come here the same day um, you want to travel and then buy the ticket and you just sit wherever you find a spot if you can so basically tomorrow we'll be just here trying to get in one of those trains to get to Varanasi because uh, well the train ticket is only 60 65 rupees uh, per person and the taxi that we paid yesterday when we missed our bus stop instead of Allahabad we got off in Varanasi so we had to come back here uh, we paid uh, almost 3,000 rupees so that's uh, so it was like 40 euros together um, so yeah tomorrow we're not gonna do that because we are not super rich we are Romanians traveling traveling in India so we will buy a normal train ticket of 60 rupees and we will get to Varanasi hopefully by train today tomorrow okay let's go let's go to the famous Kum now it's very hot it's, so, it's so hot that my, my phone is catching fire and this is winter this is this winter is here winter. in, in, in uh, in India, and I'm wearing a scarf because uh, my um, clothes. <laughs> yes, my clothes have no uh, shoulders, so it's something rather odd here to say to a woman about uh, shoulders, sh like not covering her shoulder or herself or like long skirts. So yeah, I'm boiling. Let's go. We have a six kilometers walk to the Kum. Or we maybe take a tuk-tuk but everybody's trying to rip you off really bad it's worse than Delhi here so I guess um, the place of the Kum gets really popular touristic not for foreigners but for Indians and it gets really expensive during the Kum because you know these cities are not exactly touristic so they don't see a lot of well, you know blonde people like Eddie is so whenever they see him on the street they come to him and ask for a selfie so that's how uh, non-touristic <laughs> this place is and that's how you should be making money in India but he's yeah. not asking for money although everybody here is asking us for money I'm should. asking for enlightenment and I'm going to yeah well he's still we are still on that spiritual journey um, in India how's that going for us Julia you know, it's not going very well I catch a cold I catch the cold um, I'm not yeah. feeling so great today everybody's trying to you know <clears throat> take money for us um, everything is very expensive for us um, so basically yeah and uh, some weird uh, Indian guys uh, calling me on my Indian phone number from different numbers and that's really weird too mm, the only thing about uh, India that I could really say at this moment is that it's actually very very safe you wouldn't tell that by just looking at some random pictures of India but it's really safe and especially this time of year here in Kum they have a lot of uh, police officers uh, police cars everywhere um, it's guarded it's it really feels super safe and everybody actually is super nice especially in the Kum area very nice people I just like to say nobody's calling me on my phone number <laughs> For the simple reason that it hasn't worked for the last week. Thank you, Vodafone. <laughs> Vodafone India is not exactly the greatest company, so. Although, although we talked to somebody at a really fancy office, they said yes. they would fix it. And Four days later, nothing happened. And then we sent a message, and then they replied, "Who are you?" So, thank you, Vodafone India. We really tried, but it's not working out between the three of us. So here's an air trail. Yeah, maybe we can just buy a different one, SIM card, or find a Vodafone. Wish us good luck. Oh my god, we found child beer. Abba. No, we just want to cross the street. It's crazy, as always, in front of the train station. Tuk tuk's everywhere. Where's the pass? Here's the pass. Cross the street here. Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. They just won't let you pass. Come on. Okay, let's go. Now, 
One more time. One more time. Let's go. Okay, we made it. Let's see what's up with the child here. Where's the child beer? Here. What's happening here? I don't know, somebody's sleeping on the floor. Two people. Some food. Child. Where are the children? Child beer. No. This way. Child beer. Child beer. Now you ask for the child beer. I have no idea what the child beer is, but... Okay, okay. It's very different. Uh, give me a... I saw child beer, so I thought maybe they don't have alcohol. What is child beer? Child beer? I don't know. Uh, no, just one. It has alcohol. Does it have alcohol? It has alcohol, right? No, it has alcohol. It's a very little glass. Yes. How much? How much is 100, right? 150. Oh, my child. So actually, it's a Carlsberg. It's not called. Uh, it's 160. 160. 160. Tourist, tourist price. Good price, tourist price. No. I'm the broke tourist. I'm just with the camera. You are from? Romania. Romania. Romania is a, it's not a very rich country. Even for us, 160 is expensive. <laughs> so in Romania, this is much cheaper. Yes, but it's a poor country in Europe. So for us, this beer, very expensive right now. In, uh, in Romania, this beer is maybe 50 rupees. Seriously. Really yes. Everywhere. In Romania, very cheap beer. Thank you. And the one in the... Yes, because you're not allowed to, to drink alcohol. No. Can you hold it uh, yes. Now we have one, look. They also have the, how do you call this? Authentic... Uh, uh, elephant beer. Elephant beer. Cool. Yes. So okay. this is like Carlsberg, uh, they make it for India only. Yeah. Uh, Special. Uh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Let's <see. laughs> uh, There's a lot of uh, empty process here. Why do you have a banana in your hand? I don't know where to throw it. Can I throw it there? There. Yeah? Oh, your beer. Don't waste the beer, it's expensive. <laughs> Check it. Cheers. 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 It's good? It's good. It doesn't have much of a punch. It's good. Why doesn't it taste the same? It tastes a bit different from the ones I know. If you, if you drink are... in Bombay, you will exactly get the taste. Bombay is different. It's different. It has like a bit of spice or something. Yeah. It's, it's very light. Depends on the water. It's very light. Uh, yeah. It's river water, well water, and mineral water. What's but in now, this one? This must be a river water. Oh wow! I'm drinking uh, a Ganges, Ganges it's, beer. It's, it's very light beer. No, it's strong beer. It's a strong one. How how much alcohol? Uh, must be fourteen percent. Eight. Eight. Alcohol content not exceeding 8%. Oh, so it's pretty strong. It's, it's less. It's less, yeah, than a regular beer. Okay. You want to see the elephant? See the elephant. Yeah, I saw the elephant. Mine consists of 4%. So here we are, we found the beer in a child beer shop, which actually is the chill beer shop, right across the street from the uh, train station. So good luck for us that we asked. Very expensive beer, 150, 160. Three times more than in Romania. So much. Don't drink too much beer. Even the, the train is cheaper than the beer. The train is gonna be cheaper for two people to go to Paranaque than this beer. They think we are very rich now. We are not very rich. So we have some trouble finding a tuk tuk because nobody speaks English. And uh, everybody's trying to overturn us and 
but we found the love tuk tuk now and hopefully we're gonna get there. by accident, by mistake. The driver wanted double than we <laughs> said we would give him. So now we have to take our shoes off. Sure. Ready? Come on, take your shoes off. So we made it to this uh, Moti Mahal temple. Some people sitting over there. Some statues over here of their gods. Uh, a lot of people ch yeah, chasing us to take selfies. They have no idea uh, that uh, we don't. We are not uh, speaking Hindi, so they're like la 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 in Hindi all the time. And you're asking him them questions, and they come to you to take selfies. Uh, and across the street, uh, over the river, you can see. So this is the Ganges, and over the, uh, on the other side, you can see some of the camps, the Mela. So basically, this area. Uh, of camps, it's all uh, on every side of the rivers. There are three rivers here so the Yamuna, the Ganges, and the last one of which I cannot remember the name. And there are camps basically everywhere. And people from all over India have come to see this, and apparently more than India. We came all the way from Romania to see this. Uh, let's see what else we have in this temple. Okay. I think this is the shrine. And this is where they uh, pray. And uh, that's some sort of a sparrow and some incense and flowers. What is that? It looks like the. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Try it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. And they burn incense. Yes. Uh, it happens everywhere in their culture. Yeah.
Sakum area is, and this is just a small part of it. Over there, it's so much more than this. It's huge, huge. 